Hey guys and welcome back. Just wanted to do a quick video. It's kind of a follow up to the last one about via stitching. Uh, just using the same board, wanted to take a quick second and talk about the the pad uh, spokes basically. So let's take a look at that. So let's open up the layout. So this is the same one that we did. This is with some of the changes that were suggested in the via stitching layout. But you see that we have actually uh, quite a wide spoke or quite a wide berth around these pads here. And I really want this to be a little bit tighter around these pads. And so I was going through and 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 looking at this and also looking at some of the other uh, pads on here that actually because because they defaulted to a solid hatch like like we showed in the last video and I was wondering about why that was well that actually all happens if you go to the uh, the ground port tour tool and we hit edit here we can actually go in and edit the zone if you kind of go to the edge of the zone and hit E over top of it and what we see here is that the pad connection defaults to solid we want to switch that to thermal relief so then any new ones any new pads that come into that area with the same with the same uh, uh, net name it will add thermal pads so we can see that and we can redraw and it's the same okay uh, <laughs> we also in this in this case we actually went in and edited these pads uh, manually so if we hit escape and we go into the footprint and we edit edit uh, parameters we see we actually changed this right here so it is customizable on a uh, one by one basis but we're going to do it on a global basis here instead let's go back open up the tool pool, pour tool and uh, so we, we switched to thermal relief. Now we want actually want to tighten these up a little bit. And we see there's a couple things here. There's clearance, there's minimum width, there's spoke width, and there's anti-pad clearance. And so what we first want to do is we actually want to change the clearance. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. And redraw. And we see that overall, the overall clearance changes. You see it kind of came in around the other pads that are not part of the... Uh, not part of the the net, so it, around these these ANA pin ten and pin one here, so that closed up there. That's the clearance. Now if we go back in and we hit edit again, same tool, and now if we do uh, minimum width, we'll leave that what it is. That's basically just to check on all of that stuff. <clears throat> but now if we go in and we change ANA pad clearance, which with both of these are are uh, subject to that, hit OK, we redraw. We see it closes up on these on these thermal pads here now. And basically that just allows us for more ground pour around these pads, which is what we want. We still want the thermal effects. We still want to be able to, basically the reason we're doing this in the first place is so that it's easier to solder down to pins 9 and 11 here. So we definitely want those effects as well. Uh, and then finally, if we want to change that, if we wanted to make it even easier, we still want to connect it here, right? We still want the ground pour. We still want to connect this, but we want to make it even easier to solder down this pad. Maybe there's issues in manufacturing, whatever. Hit edit one more time. We actually change the spoke width. We make it smaller. So let's make it 10. Should still be within the... Nope. Smaller than the minimum width. Okay. It must be doing a compare. Let's do it 11. <laughs> let's see. There we go. And what this is going to do is, is thin up these these spoke wheels here, or these spokes here. Fill the refill. And you see now there's actually less copper connecting pin nine to the rest of the uh, the rest of the pour here. And what that means is basically it's going to be easier. You're going to have to apply less heat to pin nine in order to solder something down to it because there's less copper connecting it to this larger plane. So that's kind of how to modify your pads here, and that's useful, you know, for manufacturability and for uh, really any time you're working with ground planes, you're going to want to be able to. Uh, fix this kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.